and welcome to David and Betsy's Healthy 2020. I'm Betsy. Hello, David. Hi, Betsy. How are you? I'm great. So we um, had experimented with an anti-inflammatory diet in the second half of 2019. We sure did. And now we're starting a new year and things have sort of derailed. And moving into the new year, we would like to invite you to watch these videos, join in with us, and when we're ready, we're going to be announcing an opportunity for those who would like to try some of this to join us. But uh, that is going to come along with the launch of the new Feed to Succeed website, and that is still under construction. So meanwhile, how's it going, David? It's great. Is it? What's great? We have an opportunity for a brand new year. That we do. Tell me how 2019 wrapped up for you with eating. Oof. Yeah, December wasn't good. What but happened? What happened? Yeah. Yeah, I fell back to all my old habits. That's a very common thing. I think that happens to the best of us. I'm still probably 10 pounds clear of where I was at my worst. Oh, that's good. Maybe eight. Was it about weight for you? Quite a, a bit. But also general healthiness. Mm -hmm. I, and obviously the inflammatory piece was better. I'm. In what way? Well, for a bit of time there, I felt less inflamed. What did that? Just less like aching in my knees and joints. I'm, I'm most, of, most of me is fine, except my, my knees. Mm -hmm. But my back, my back is actually kind of okay right now. It's actually been surprising. That's good. Mine's not. Tell us about where you're at. Well, in August, we did an anti-inflammatory diet. We did it 100%. Yeah. So we ate lots of foods that reduce inflammation and we avoided foods that increased inflammation. And we did it for 30 days without cheating. And as those days went on, I felt better and better. Mm -hmm. And then in September, I did it like 90% and I felt pretty good. And in October, I kind of started slipping. I was at like maybe 80%. I still felt good. November, probably 70. Still felt really good. And then December, and I fell off the rails. I have a problem with Christmas cookies and delicious foods and savory foods too, like, oh my gosh, fresh baked pretzels and butter. Not just spreading butter, like dipping them in butter, like whole mouthfuls of butter on a pretzel, a warm pretzel. What are you going to do? I don't know. But anyway, so my point is that everything in me hurts. And it's interesting that as the month of December went on and I got further and further away from what we had been doing, my aches returned. And it wasn't like one thing, like maybe it was an injury. It was like the arthritic thumb started bothering me. The shoulder started hurting. The ankle returned its pain. And now my back hurts. Mm -hmm. My back's been pretty good for a while. So it's time to reset. New Year's Eve night right now. Tomorrow... I guess can be a, I'm not, I, it's a clean slate. I'm not one for resolutions, but I am one for taking an opportunity to start fresh. I agree with you on the resolution thing. I do think though that the end of New Year's is the end of the holiday season in my mind. So it's time to get back on. Well, I think it's something that, track. I think there has to be a middle ground. Like, I think I can stick to something if it's a little less rigid. Mm -hmm. So what were you thinking? So there's no way that I'm going to do anti-inflammatory all out for the rest of my life. Why is that? I don't like it. What do you dislike about it? I like to have, I like to have the, some of the foods I like every once in a while. I like to have a good slice of pizza or whatever. Um, I like to go out for dinner and when we go to, a, especially when we go to a dinner or uh, anything social, the options are limited. And so I'm thinking that for me, out of, out of a potential, say, 21 meals a week. Which is three meals per day. Three squares, that's the idea. Um, mm -hmm. That I'll probably cheat three times. That's my, I think that if I, like if I want to get a pizza one night, I don't mm -hmm. want it to have to, I don't want to feel super guilty about it. And so I'll probably be, that's probably about 83%, I guess. So you're going to use a flexible approach? I, I can't do it the other way. Mm -hmm. I think now that we have done it, hardcore kind of slipped down a slippery slope. My suspicion is that you probably don't need to be 100% to 
reap benefits from still following a diet that's low in inflammatory foods and high in anti-inflammatory foods. Yeah. So that's what I think I agree that we don't have to be crazy moving forward. And for me, it's not about weight. For me, it's about aches and pains, but for you, it's about both. Uh -huh. So, um, yeah. So we're going to start in again then. Is that the plan? Like 18 out of 21 meals a week, we're going to follow low inflammatory. So my plan is that I'm going to have three cheats a week and every other meal I'm going to do my best to be as anti-inflamed as possible. Okay. So I told David before we began this, I want a new name for anti-inflammatory diet because it's kind of the, and if you have ideas or suggestions and you want to send them to us, put them in the comments like, oh, I have a great idea for what we could call this. It is kind of a version of a Mediterranean diet. It, there are some little bits of it that are kind of paleo in the unprocessed field. Anyway, we need a name. Let's try and come up with a name. And this is how we came up with my business name, Feed to Succeed, is we got input from other people. So maybe you have some good ideas. I'm also committing to six days a week having at least 30 minutes of walking or some exercise. That's big. That's so. great. Yesterday you got in the treadmill. I hadn't mm. seen you do that for a while. That's good. So that's the other commitment. All right, so we are going to bring you updates on what we're doing. It is probably not gonna be every day. Um, it'll probably be a couple days a week. And as we get closer to the launch of the new Feed to Succeed website, we are going to invite you to join us in on this if you would like to participate in reducing inflammation and improving your health and feeling good. And not just for you, for your entire family. This is great for kids. It might be challenging for them. It's challenging for everybody. But it is really great for all kinds of GI disorders. And it is really good for other autoimmune disorders. So if that is speaking to you or somebody in your family, join us. 2020 vision right here. 20, wow, there you go. 2020 vision, says David. Anything else you want to add? All right. Oh, we, it doesn't start till tomorrow. Right. It's currently New Year's Eve. Oh, it's New Year's so. Eve. We're going out. We're going out with a bang. Ready? Bye. Let's go. We're going out. Goodbye.